work for an organization called the Richland Soil and Water Conservation District, and our mission is to educate the public about the importance of natural resources. And of course, farms are one of the best places to see why we need healthy soil and clean water, because it produces the food and the fiber and the timber that sustains life. So the Ag and Art Tour is a great way for us to showcase the importance of those natural resources to our community, to help people connect with the land, connect with the farmers, and also to connect with the art and the history and the culture of our county. But I've seen it grow over the years with just getting more counties involved and more people. And locally, we have more sites that want to do, more artisans that want to come and say, hey, I have an art shop and we have all these local artists. Can we be part of the tour? Absolutely. Well, I just started a farm. Can I do it? I'm new. Of course you can. One of our sites, the numbers they did last year, we had over 300 visitors to their site. And that's just one site that's off the top of my head that I can think of their numbers. That's huge for Fairfield County. That's huge. We have um, four different agritourism farms that will be participating this year, dozens of artisans that will be at those local farms, and all of our farms are very unique. Um, they're all very different, so we encourage you to visit all of them. Um, some you'll be able to pick, you know, strawberries and blackberries, others you'll be able to pet animals, others you'll learn how the honey and the bees and the whole operation works. Um, so it's really neat to kind of showcase a lot of different aspects of farming and agritourism and agriculture. And as soon as I heard about the Ag and Art Tour from Will, I knew that it was something that we wanted to bring to Abbeville. Um, Abbeville's got such a rich agricultural heritage and we've got so many local artisans that it seemed like a wonderful way to um, encourage them and showcase what they bring to the county. Um, one of the areas of focus of our chamber is agritourism and agribusiness. So this seemed like a really good marriage between the two of them and anything we can do to bring people to Abbeville County to support our businesses, support our community, um, I think it's going to be great, so we're grateful for the opportunity. <laughs>